So as I'm sure you two have noticed, last night someone broke into the bathroom and vandalized it with some extremely hurtful words and illustrations. Two people have quit over this and I need to get to the bottom of it, so. Weren't there security cameras? We turned them off at night. It's a great initiative. So what we need at first is a control question. It can be anything really. Do you like my shirt? What does that have to do with the vandalism? Like I said, it's a control question. Idiot. Well, if we have to be totally honest, then uh, no, not really. Yeah, me neither, I'm sorry. Huh, it says you're telling the truth. Damn thing's broken already, stupid piece of shit. I, I say I'm, uh, no, that's right. Yes, the machine was being truthful. No, you're lying to protect the lie detector industry. It's admirable, but let's try another control. You walk into work one day wearing this shirt. You hear a bunch of your employees making fun of it behind your back in a loud whisper, really just normal voices. Are they A, jealous, B, blind, C, all of the above? I didn't know that lie detectors can ask multiple choice questions. I'm gonna put that down as a B. Sam, are you just self-conscious about your shirt? It's gonna be a C. Okay, Sam, just relax, all right? There's nothing wrong with your ugly shirt. Regular shirt. There's nothing wrong with your regular shirt. Fine, let's get down to business. I'm gonna show you guys some incriminating photos. This is just an issue of OK Magazine. Turn to page 10 and note one Kevin Spacey at the Spike Video Game Awards red carpet. Notice anything familiar? Well, he's not wearing your shirt. No, but the talent wrangler behind him is. You mean the goatee guy yelling at the kid? And the shirt looks pretty good on him, doesn't it? I don't know, man. It, it kind of hurts my eyes. It's like an optical illusion or something. Yeah, the woman at the thrift shop said it pops, and I assume she meant metaphorically, like the color pops, but no, actually, it really is kind of like a uh, magic eye. It's an elephant, right? It's rapid fire question time. Pat. Do your shirts itch on the inside? Not really. David, do you get rashes from wearing your shirts? No. Hives. No. Do old women on the street yell obscenities at you based on your shirts? Are you serious? Hives. You already asked that. No. Does your shirt give the old women hives? Like, just looking at it? Yes. Just looking at it. Why would you ever buy that thing? I don't know. It has, like, this cool, like, red lining on the inside. Um, wow, those oh, are spots man. of blood. I'm having this, like, weird allergic reaction to it. What is that thing even made of? Well, it's 10% polyester, 3% Tylex, 6% uh, knot silk, 8% whale tooth, and, uh, 50% cotton. What's, What's not, not silk? silk? All right. I didn't want to have to do this. But there was a witness in the bathroom last night who says he saw some, quote, suspicious activity. Now, before I bring him in here, is there anything you guys want to tell me? Like how much you love my shirt. Fine. Owen, get in here. Hey, guys. Hey, Owen. Now, you saw some suspicious activity in the bathroom last night. Yeah, that's right. Now, why don't you tell us about it? Uh, okay, well, I was leaving the office late, uh -huh. uh, and I heard these weird noises coming from the bathroom. Oh, really? And so I went in to check, mm, what'd you find? and you were in there trying on just, like, bags of all these really weird shirts. Like, one of them had purple swirls across the side and, like, a, a brown zigzag stripe across it. Uh, one of them just straight up had a picture of Pikachu on the front. <laughs> One of them had three pockets on the front, which I, think, I remember thinking was a weird number. It's a, it's a heart pocket. Oh, it's a, okay.